you know, I'll, I'll, I'll mention another article. And the reason I'm doing this is one of the reasons we have a, we need a free press. It'd be nice to have a completely unbiased free press, but we need investigative reporting. Uh, we only have so much staff here at a subcommittee level or even a committee level. So we really do need journalists going out there and digging up stories. But one of the ones I thought interesting before this hearing spoke to the, the, the very real problem, the difficulty you are having in finding, well, first of all, your workforce, manufacturing workforce is aging. You know, throwing COVID on there, early retirements, that type of thing, you lost a lot of experience. And in the past, it sounds like uh, Boeing was able to tap into uh, a workforce that, that was, had experience in the aerospace industry. And you don't have that luxury anymore. I'm not exactly sure when that changed. I know coming from manufacturing myself, it's been difficult to hire people in a manufacturing operation because let's face it, we tell our kids, you gotta get a four year degree and you wanna be in management. Uh, so we don't encourage people to go into manufacturing, but can you speak to that issue? Maybe Mr. McKenzie can speak to that issue in terms of just your challenges in hiring people in a manufacturing setting for a very high quality, high demand aerospace industry. Uh, Senator Johnson, and I appreciate the question more than you know. Uh, the post-COVID moment in the aerospace industry has been unbelievably difficult to navigate. We have 10,000 suppliers. We, we put almost two and a half million parts into a 787. Uh, Boeing, because it's big and it has resources, even those were strained, we, we were able to keep more than most, but like you say, we turned over a lot of people, and yes, a lot of experienced people. Our supply chain experienced enormous turnover. So as we try to respond to unbelievable demand for airplanes out there, we have a supply constraint that is very real and it is not resolved today. And I think one of the most important things we can do, we've done it in a few large instances, but now we have to train ourselves to do it at small instances, meaning every employee. If a part's not there on time, if a part's non-conforming, we will stop the line. This, so much of this relates to an untrained workforce. I, I, I tell you, it's all about that, honestly. 